I wanted to, to say a, li a little bit more about what we might ask the chat robot tomorrow afternoon, or you could ask the robot if you're, if you're there earlier. You can still listen to Phonic FM. Um, D we've got a DAB repeating device high up Stoke Hill, so the, the reception at, to the, on the campus is very good. Um, oh, oh, that that hum from the... You can't hear it anyway. Uh, I wanted to just mention, go, go back to the tweets, and uh, Russell Prue talking about the, the podcasts he's going to be doing... Uh, five podcasts ahead of bet which is in January and the ahead by bet aspect because I, I don't think that's actually reached the radio shows as much as it might do uh, the the universities have been turning up at bet which is a, a very large tech show um, it's because of the school's budget I think the the, the large companies like Microsoft and Google and sometimes Apple, sometimes Adobe, um, turn up there in a way that they don't turn up for other other events. So that the um, Learning Technology Show, which is for for adult um, training, um, well, hu human resources sort of a show. There's there's it, it is a technology show. There there is an ed tech aspect to it, but it doesn't have the the major players like 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 my, well, my, Microsoft have always supported um, Bet on a on a very large scale, and that that makes it a, a I think quite, you, you can tell what's going on because there's uh, a lot of hardware there as well, and um, the, the fact that the the universities now have their own section ahead by Bet. Uh, I think could be discussed more, uh, and it probably will be, on the on the radio, because essentially Rus R Russell Prue has a, a a radio s studio on the net support stand, and uh, there's a few problems with with background noise, but it it's it's fairly instant uh, each day, but about three o'clock. Uh, exactly what's going on as as news dur during the, the show and if he's going to do podcasts ahead of that then a lot of the information about universities and what's what's going on which might 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 be revealed by the the chat robot tomorrow afternoon probably knows as much about it as uh well but this is the we don't know show we definitely don't know what's going on but let's what, what i'm getting at is um, we can ask the chat robots again. Um, there's another show in Exeter about digital universities. It's in April. It's the same time as the Learning Technologies show. The Learning Technologies show is, is at Excel, as is Bet. Uh, but uh, there's, there's, there's enough shows going on now. Um, you can keep asking the robots and they, all the robots do is train on what's what's available and come up with an opinion. And so, is it sensible to be building student accommodation indefinitely? Is there a small number of universities that will survive as real spaces that need a, an actual campus? Um, should should universities concentrate all their lectures into two or three days during the week? so the uh, students can commute from somewhere cheaper to live not far away um, there's various questions you could ask you could ask, oh and working from home if working from home has affected shopping and the city center um, sandwich bars and also uh, office space Will it will it affect universities at some point? There's there's loads loads of questions um, that ra radio could just keep asking these questions. All all the chatbots could offer an answer, and the 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 answers will change. Between now and April, we'll get a number of different 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 answers. <laughs> 